So welcome again to section five of the complete iOS developer course. In this section, we'll be starting off looking at animation and then moving on to advanced iOS features like maps, location, complex segues, working with audio and responding to swipes and shakes. So there's a huge amount to cover. Let's get started looking at how we can animate images. So we'll start with a usual single page app saved on the desktop. Of course, to be able to animate some images, we need an image to animate. So I'm going to get mine from Giphy or Jiffy, depending on your preferred pronunciation, .com. And I'd recommend just choosing a nice, simple, cartoony GIF. I'm going to go for Lisa Simpson here. And if we just copy the image address, then that should give us the GIF address itself. There we go. Now we could just insert that into our app, but that wouldn't teach us how to do animation ourselves. So what I'm going to do is a quick Google search for convert GIF into individual images. And there's a number of free services that you can use to do this. So pick whichever one you like. I'm just going to grab the top result there. So easygif.com slash split. And then you can just paste the image URL into the box there and upload. And then click split it. And it will magically split the original animated GIF into the individual images. And then I'd recommend clicking the download frames as zip option. And I'm just going to download mine to the desktop there. And that will give you a selection of images that we can work into an animation. So let's just open those up in Finder. There we go. And we'll just have a look at the naming. Okay, that looks pretty good. So the only difference in all the file names is that number there. So it's going to be quite easy to switch from one to the other. Great. So now we've got our images, let's jump over to our app and drag them in, in the usual way. There we go. And we'll create the items as usual. And then let's just create an image view as we normally would. Just by dragging it in. I'm not going to worry too much about layout or anything here. We'll just drag it to the edges of the page like that. And for now, let's just set the first image as the default image and we'll change the mode to aspect fit. There we go. And next I'm going to bring in a button. And this will be the button that the user presses to advance to the next image in the sequence. And what we're essentially going to create is a custom animation where we're updating the image each time the user taps the button. So I'll change the text to next. And then I just need to set up an IB action for the button. I'll call it next and uh, let's make sure it's an action rather than an outlet. And I'll need one for my image as well. So control dragging there and I'll just call it image. Okay. So now we'll be focusing on view controller dot Swift. And initially what we'll do is just set it up so that when you tap the button, it changes from the zero image to the one image. So we'll keep it as simple as possible initially. And to do that, all we need to do is take our image and then set the image to, and we need to 
generate an image from this file. And we do that using UI image. And we're going to create a UI image from a file name. So it's UI image named and then frame underscore one underscore delay hyphen 0.1 s dot gif. Simple as that. So let's have a look and see that in action. So we should find that we see hairstyle number one when we load the app and then when we tap next we see hairstyle number two. Pretty simple but this is the basis of all iOS animation. And there we go. You can see the image has changed to the new one. So time for a challenge for you then. Can you make it so that instead of just changing to the second image when the button is tapped, it loops through the whole set of images and goes back to the start again and continues to loop through so that the user can press next as many times as they like and it will continue to loop through the various images that make up the GIF. Go for it. All right, hope you managed that. I think we're going to need some kind of counter variable. So I will set the counter initially to be one. And then when the image is, when the button is tapped, we'll set the UI image to frame. And then instead of fixing a one there, we'll have the value of counter. And then most of the time we're going to want counter to increment by one each time. So counter plus equals one will achieve that. And finally, we want the loop back. So when counter gets above five, we want to set counter back to zero. So if counter is equal to six, then counter equals zero. Simple as that. So let's give it a try. We should now find that when we tap on the image, it will go to the next one in the sequence. And then when it gets to the end, it'll go round back to the start again. Let's find out. And here we go. Let's give it a try. So we'll tap next. And there's the new image. And again, new image again. And again. And you get the idea. And back to the start again. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to go with animation in this video. In the next video, we'll see how to automate the animation. So instead of the user having to tap each time, we want to see the animation happen by itself. That's what we'll do in the next video. See you there.